Hey everyone, my name is Jennifer and I'm a graduate student at NOAA Southeastern University. Today I'll be discussing the proper use of the expiratory muscle strength trainer device, also known as the EMS T150, to improve the strength of the muscles used for exhalation. To start off, let me just show you a quick demonstration of what I'll be walking through uh, today. So your package should include the device, the mouthpiece, and a nose piece that would only be used for you. Before starting your training, be mindful that you will need approximately 20 to 30 minutes to complete this technique, and it can be performed while you're standing or seated. And when you get started, just keep in mind the number five. You will complete five sets of exercises five times a week for five consecutive weeks. So when using the EMST for the first time, you will need to determine your maximum expiratory output capacity. So how do we do that? So you're gonna take your device, you will begin at the 30 mark on the green line by turning the blue knob to align to that number. Turning the valve clockwise means it will be harder to blow and turning the valve counterclockwise means it will be easier to exhale. Then you will place your mouth around your mouthpiece, right behind your, uh, ear, your teeth, and create a tight seal with your lips, not your teeth. Once again, let's demonstrate. Don't exhale your deep breath until a tight seal is created. Take a deep breath in, then blow hard and fast th through the device, creating a sound similar to a deflating tire. If that was easy to blow, continue to increase the valve pressure by turning the knob clockwise in one quarter increments until you experience difficulty. Turn the knob back to that last number you were able to blow without difficulty to start your training. That will be your starting point, which indicates you're at about 75 to 80% of your maximum capacity. Now, let's get started with your training. You will blow hard and fast through the device only after creating that tight lip seal. Rest for 15 to 30 seconds to allow your muscles to prepare for the next attempt. Repeat five times and take a minute break in between each set of five. After the minute break, do another five sets and repeat until five sets of five have been completed for a total of 25 breaths a day. If you feel or hear air release from your nose, you can use that nose piece over your nose. And if you feel like you're experiencing um, any difficulty creating a tight seal, or you can hear some air leaking from the side of your lip, you can hold your hand to create support. Um, hold the hand that you're not using to create support around your lips. So it will look something like this. Discontinue the use of this device if you start to experience lightheadedness, fatigue, or shortness of breath. Let me just demonstrate for you one more time. Good luck!